Hey all it's John K here, how are you? Today uh, I want to show you a quick video of what I've been up to. Uh, I've modified my Bedini SG bike wheel setup. So I'll give you a quick look at it, we'll run it up for you and show you what it can do. So a quick look at the rotor first. So the rotor is a 27 inch bike wheel. Uh, I've covered it uh, with uh, cardboard just to cut down on the wind drag. And the magnets in this wheel are all super north magnets. You can see one pair of them there. So that's two two north poles glued together and then glued to the wheel. Uh, there's quite a number of them on this wheel. I've actually got 36 pairs. So they're quite close together. So a total of 72 magnets. So I'm going to uh, start this up and I'll let you know what it can do. So this is our primary battery. We're going to start up. Before we start, we'll just have a look at our voltages. So our primary battery is sitting on at 12.77, our charge battery 12.72. Now just swap these around, so uh, it's been running kind of all day. Okay, so let's start this up. You see straight away on, on the oscilloscope, we're at two pulses, so it does take quite a while to get this fairly heavy rotor up to speed. So while we're waiting for that, I'll give you a little bit of uh, what's going on. So our rotor, as we've seen, 27 inch bike wheel with 36 pairs of super pole magnets, ceramic grade eights. Coil is a nine strand coil. It's got eight strands of number 20 wire, one strand of number 23 wire for the trigger. Going to a standard Bedini SG board with nine transistors on it. So each of the transistors has a 470 ohm base resistor. The rheostat there, which is tuned to run on, on the comparator, is about 75 ohms. So still coming up to speed here, we'll let that keep going, we'll come back to that in a minute. So the SG board is running in attraction mode. And it's running in just normal radiant mode, mode one. Okay, not in generator mode. The output of the SG board goes to the large comparator. I've got there, you can see the green light blinking away, indicating that the caps are being dumped to our charge battery. So we can see on, on the DC volts meter there it's charging the caps up to about 24 volts and then dumping them down to about 20 volts. So the batteries I've got just for this demonstration which are a little bit small for this machine but they're uh, a 12 volt that's a 5.5 amp hour motorcycle battery and our charge battery is a CB5L which is a 5 amp hour motorcycle battery as well so it's connected to the output of the comparator. So looking at our, our battery voltages again, naturally our, our primary is going to drop down. This is drawing uh, around about, when it's up to speed, it'll draw around about 1.6 amps. Uh, just a charge battery. See if we put our clamp meter there. The meter can't read it. So the meter doesn't know whether it's seeing 0 amps or 3 amps or somewhere in between. So to be able to effectively measure what sort of energy is charging the battery, we need a, a DC current probe. That's what this thing is. So this thing is uh, its basically a, a probe that uh, converts current into a voltage that you can read on your oscilloscope. So we'll show you what that says. So in the meantime, while we're waiting for this still to speed up, it does take quite a while, I'm going to switch over to the current probe show you what's actually going into this battery. Okay. So you can see these yellow pulses, they're actually the cap dumping. Just make that a little bit larger. Now the way to read this is that each division on the scope equates to 20 amps. So if we just pause that, we can see that 
The current pulses here are 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, about 120 amp pulse at about 24 volts. So that's getting up to about 2500 watt pulses going into the battery. So what's that doing to our battery? Well, this meter is on our charge battery. You can see we started at about 12.7 volts. It's already got this battery up to about 13.3, 13.4, but you can see it jumping up into the 13.7, 13.8 occasionally. So it's, it's really packing a punch into that battery. So once again, the SG using the radiant charge charges up the capacitors. The capacitors are dumped to the charge battery every time the green light lights. So currently, the way we can measure that is if we get our, our tachometer, we actually, what I'm doing is just pointing it at the LED it's basically measuring how many pulses per minute. Okay. So right now it's at about 84. Try and hold it steady. About 80 pulses per minute. Now as, as the wheel speeds up, obviously we're getting more magnet passes per minute into the SG and then that equates to the caps charging up faster. So let's go uh, have a look at where our SG is sitting. Okay and you can see here we've just dropped into one pulse per magnet pass. I'll try and expand that out a little bit. You can hear the wheel is, is starting to speed up pretty quickly. So how fast is it going right now? So once again if we get our taco, I've got a little sensor mounted on the wheel somewhere. And I'm just waiting for that to pick up properly. So it looks like it's going at about 267 RPM, 268, and it's still accelerating. As it accelerates, the pulses going into the battery are also accelerating. So that's going quite a little bit quicker now. If I try and measure the LED there. actually drop, drop down a little bit but that will pick up and at full speed this will uh, dump to the battery at about 100 pulses per minute about 24 volts with those pulses I showed you so again if we look at our uh, batteries again our primary batteries dropped to about 12.2 under load uh, the draw current zero that about 1.5 amps. So 1.5 amps at about 12.2 volts equates to somewhere around 20 watts. So it's only taking 20 watts to turn this big wheel around and also charge this battery at the rate we're seeing it charge. Now I did some calculations before when this wheel is fully up to speed, which it just about is now. Now we're at about 316 RPM. So to give you an idea of how fast that go, that's going, 316 RP, uh, RPM, the wheel in one revolution travels about 2.1 meters, uh, or about seven feet. Okay. If you do the calculations on that, quotes to about 40 
kilometres an hour or around about 26 miles an hour if my maths right so you know, for 20 watts we're pushing a wheel around at about 26 mile an hour about 42 kilometres an hour um, and charging a battery at the same time so that's that's pretty cool so another look there we're uh, probably starting to pack a, a, a charge into that battery so that's about all I, I got to show you um, the reason for the, the fan and the heatsink there was um, I was testing the comparator at some higher voltages um, and it's really just to keep the, the fits cool so they don't get too hot um, if you want any more information on the board you set the top or the comparator down the bottom you can purchase these items uh, they're available uh, from Tesla Genics from the Tesla Genics website uh, both of those boards you see in front of you were actually built by John Bedini himself and they are fully authorised by John Bedini they are now for sale the one at the top is, is uh, a prototype board which now comes to you as a, uh, a transistor kit that we offer for sale uh, if you want to uh, head over to the Tesla Genics website you can see there it's www.teslagenics.com just go to there see our homepage there to get to the large comparator just click on products go to large comparator and you can see it's available there there's also uh, some specifics on it on how to use it uh, to have a look at our kits there's uh, the 8 transistor board which is very similar to which is pretty standard it does vary as the battery charges it does get a little bit faster so again thanks for watching and have a good day